Excellent. All right. Welcome to the 530 daily dose of God's word and encouragement during these 14 days of prayer and fasting. Uh, I am not in the same location as my wife currently. That's a bit sad, isn't it? But we're going to try to work out if we can see if we can bring her on as a guest. So I will try and do that. That would be good. All right. Well, I appreciate if you share the broadcast and subscribe to the YouTube channel, all of those, all of those kinds of things. And here we go. This looks promising. If you want to see us in person, we'd love to be with you. We'd love to be with, see you in person. Through Center, 15, 15 Blake Street, on Sundays at 10 a.m. All right, here we go. Even though we're apart, we can be together. <laughs> How good. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Someone okay, I'll see if in the can get comments audio whether you can hear us. Or... Another way? Can you hear me? Um. Put Maybe it's just in the comments morning. whether you can hear us both. Um, Lou, you probably should share the uh, broadcast. I can't hear you yet. Oh, okay. Well, that's a problem. But anything? My, okay, I can hear. On. Yeah, put in the comments whether you can hear both of us because it sounds good from where I am. So, whether you can hear both of us because I can hear you now because I've got you on the thing. Okay. But I'll need to put headphones. So, you will because that will be a horrific echo. I can hear you. Very professional here. Empty chair. Uh, All right. Keep going, Matt. I've got to find the headphones. Sure. sure. Okay. Well, I'll read this scripture out of James. James 2. We'll start from verse 14. It says, What does it profit, my brethren, if someone says he has faith but does not have works, can faith save him? If a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food and one of you says to them, depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body, what does it profit? Thus also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. If you can figure Figure out a way, Lou, to share the broadcast on the Breakthrough um, Center Facebook page. That would be awesome because I totally forgot to broadcast from there. Hey, Sarah, Eva, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, Matt, I can, can hear. Can you hear me? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I can figure that out. Fantastic. So verse 17 says, Thus also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith. And I have works. Show me your faith without your works. And I will show you my faith by my works. This is what James is saying. Gee, I'd love verse 18 in the NLT if that's available Thank anywhere. Thank you. Took it. I can go get it. Mine. Oh, I can computer it. What did you want? James 2.8. In NLT, New Living Translation. It's a great translation, actually. Who enjoys New Living Translation? I think it's great. Me, um, I do. James 218 NLT. Yeah. Is that... That's right. Now, someone right. may. Do you want me to read it? Yeah. Now? Yeah. Okay. Now, someone may argue. Sorry. <laughs> now, someone may argue some people have faith, others have good deeds. But I say, how can you show me your faith if you do not have good deeds? I will show you my faith by my good deeds. That's oh, it. see, beautiful. Go again. One more. Now, Go someone on. may now someone may argue some people have faith, 
others have good deeds, but I say, how can you show me your faith if you do not have good deeds? I will show you how my faith you show by me? my good deeds. How can you, yeah, how can you show, me your, show faith? me your faith? Because it's the proof your good of your deeds. faith. Yeah. Yes. It's so proof of your faith when you act on it. The, the is like one really thought that we're running with is that fasting is an expression of faith. Prayer and fasting is an expression of faith. And sometimes when you pray, you're not quite sure what action of faith you should do. And faith without works is dead, the Bible says. It says in James, faith without works is dead. If you want to have living faith, then there is an actions that accompany a real living faith. You can't, you can't have faith without works is dead. You, someone will say, well, I've just got faith. And if they're not doing anything, it's rubbish. They don't have faith. Well, I just believe in God in my heart. I never, no, no, I never confess it out of my mouth. I never talk about him. I never do anything. I don't give, but I believe you should. The Bible specifically well, says. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it's I know both. the Bible says that, but like, yeah. anyone that says that, just shut up, you idiot. <laughs> well, it's not real faith. If there aren't accompanying works, then there aren't real faith. It's not real faith. You, <laughs> it's a fake faith. Don't have, it's have a fake faith. Have That's a real right. faith. Real faith That's works. Real faith is alive. Real faith will bring real results. Fake faith will do nothing. That's right. So sometimes I know that it can be a challenge to find an action that you can do to take a step of faith towards what you believe in God for. Fasting is, is fantastic because it's an action that you can take when you're not sure what else to do. You know? right. It's true. It's like, fasting well, is an expression of faith. solve this problem. Oh, fast. Fast and yeah. pray. It's true. That's, right. it, that's true. It really is an expression of faith. That's Definitely. right. Fantastic. Tembi, hello. Uh, I can, okay. I can see view. I can kind of see viewers. It's a bit funny, but yeah, okay. You're you extremely know. close. You're like sorry. Matt's face. Okay, sorry. I'll back up. I don't want to be overbearing. It's not when... backing off. The choppy head's chopped off. But anyway, <laughs> you look great. Well, thank you. As do you. Hello. When the paralytics lowered the man through the roof. The Bible says that Jesus saw their faith. Faith is visible. Yeah. Many times, many times, faith is visible. And so them, Jesus didn't have to wonder. I, I wonder if they have faith, those guys. Jesus saw that they have faith. What, did he, what was he actually seeing? He was seeing that they had the actions of faith that were required to bring this paralytic to Christ and bring him into a place where he could receive healing and he was healed, no longer paralytic. Yeah. It was an action of faith that they had to do. Yeah. I mean, you could, you could just go from here. The woman with the issue of blood risked everything. Just thinking risked about that. Go for it, Lou. Well, because with her, like she's tried to sneak her healing, right? But Jesus wasn't going to let that go. He was like, no, I want to know who touched me. Let me know because I've seen your action and I'm just going to put it out there and show the whole world because it's like, I don't know, it's like this little, I have to see the action. Like he wasn't just going to let her sneak it. He was displaying her faith. He was putting it on show. Like, yes. There's the action for it, to teach from it, you know? Yes, he that's like, right. He could have just been like, oh, yeah, you. He could have just been like, oh, I see, yeah, no worries. Don't worry, you can just take that one for free. Yeah. He was like, no, where are you? Come and show me and take take your action. And it was after he said, like, she was already healed, but it was after he said that that he said, your faith has made you well. It's just interesting. Yes, so true. To, Jesus, when yeah. he healed the man that was born blind, spat in the mud, spat in the ground, in the dirt, and made mud with spit, rubbed it on the man's eyes. So unusual actions. <laughs> a very unusual actions, but it was yes. a live faith that 
that brought about the results of the man being able to see. That's right. And he even his like faith to go and actually wash rather than punch him in the face for spitting on him, you know. It's legit. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Go, go and wash. He went and washed and came back seeing. Yeah. Hey, hey Leanne. Hey Karen. Thank you for waving. Comments are appreciated. Yeah, yeah, I think mine are going slower than yours. But yeah. Yeah. Good to see you all on here. Absolutely. I hope everyone's doing well. Do you know what happened to me today? I had to go what? into town with all the kids, which was not fun. Just just saying. Um, I had to go into town with the kids and we all went at like the worst time, like three o'clock. <laughs> and Glenn, like my brother in law came out of the house next next door and was like, Oh hey, Lou needs a hundred bucks. Can you get KFC for dinner? I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> he's like, for you, he's like and, and the kids and, and me and, and Mary and I'm like <laughs> I'm on my way home <laughs> <laughs> and then you sit in the house where it smells amazing and they're all eating it and I'm just like well lord I love you <laughs> <laughs> every time every time remember the last time he's done that he's just like like, yeah, do. that's right. Every time there's a test, <laughs> fasting and prayer. It's it's not all roses. The the fasting part. I remember now that we're just like having a phone conversation live, and it's just turned into absolute fun. Um, I remember when we were um, we went to someone's place. Should I? Give him a shout out. Give Grant a shout out. I just did. Anyway, okay. if you're watching this broadcast, thank you. But we were on a fast at the beginning of the year and he had arranged for us to come over and a few other people to come over to his place. Anyway, they, they slaughtered a cow. <laughs> <laughs> they, it was like the prodigal son coming home, but we were fasting. We were committed. They had slaughtered one of his cows and had the meat, like the fresh meat for a, you know amazing cuts of steak it looked yeah, just yeah. incredible and yeah. it was Keep like about it. scratch a test it was like <laughs> dang i cannot believe that we are fasting at just, this current juncture it's the worst time because it's like everyone's having party and it's like get to get like sure i'll come and i'll drink juice but um, it's well, still good though. Like it felt good to be like, no, I'm abstaining at the moment. Like it wasn't a big deal, and I didn't make it a big deal. Oh no, I'm fast. Yeah, like it probably it probably went unnoticed somewhat, except Mary knows that I am. But um, just to, but it felt good to be like, all right, I'll just have, have self control. It's like I don't know. It was strangely good to um. Leanne said there'll always be another steak and another party. That's true. Yeah, that's that right. True. I need to believe Thank God for someone to slaughter a steak of that fresh, homegrown magnitude, right. though. Still, um, someone brought, Karen said someone brought her chocolate at work. Yeah, yeah I was just reading that while I was yeah. copying James Cook's name so he can get <laughs> some steak when I'm done. <laughs> oh, no, no. I don't put any, don't put any pressure on people. No. It's fine. People are free. He loves it. He loves it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But um, yeah, look, look, if January is a good and a challenging time, but I yeah. actually think it is a great time because while the world is feasting, yeah. the church is fasting. Like the church, I agree. I'm going to be fasting. Like yeah. while people are drinking and indulging in the flesh and having time off and that. Yeah. I'm, I want to be giving the first parts of the new year to God. and Yeah, I agree. And it's always going to, like, there's always going to be something. It won't matter what time of the year you do it at, you know, like, oh, well, it's so-and-so's birthday in that month and it's our anniversary in that month and rah, rah, rah. There's always yep. going to be something. That's right. So, Children's birthdays. Mm -hmm. Getting enough children yeah. and there's birthday many, many yeah, times. Yeah, we've got two, two birthdays in January for our kids and it's like, oh, me. But you know, we did it either side this time, but it's not the, not the, I feel like we've gotten off track. For Jesus, it was fresh bread. 
for you it was KFC, for Karen it was That's chocolate, right. for me right. it was steak. But That's right. Whatever it is, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. That's so right. we so love and hearing from you and just want to encourage you that the rewards of godliness are both for this life and the life to come. That's right. That the rewards for putting an action to your faith are real and they are going to far outweigh just indul temporary indulgence in the flesh or right. that kind of thing. We're believing in God and praying for you that 2024 will be the best year that you've had. It'll be a, a wonderful year for you as you just give your first, the first parts of the year to God through prayer and fasting that the reward and that you do it secretly for the for the most part except we're doing it quite publicly but this is this is a bit different now because really really doing it publicly like this it's an encouragement to the church because yeah. we, we didn't really hear much teaching on fasting and prayer um for many years, and I think that it's a powerful key. And our heart is that, you know, being shepherds, we want to give keys that work away so that people can have keys that will work to seeing doors open, in doors of provision, doors of healing, doors of opportunity for people to walk into. So this is definitely a key. So when you don't know what to do, when you don't know what action of faith to take, perhaps the action of fasting would be a good action to add to your prayer. That's good. Go on, read NLT, James 2.18 again. Was it 2.18 or 3.18? 2.18. Yeah. Now some may argue, someone may argue, some people have faith, others have good deeds. But I say, how can you show me your faith if you don't have good deeds? I will show you my faith by my good deeds. I will show you my faith by my good deeds. That's right. Yep. Faith without works is death. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You know, that's why it says that if you believe in your heart, that if you confess with your mouth, it says first, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. Yeah. It's not, I just I just have faith, but I, I never do anything. My heart. Never I, you me. can't just believe in your heart. You, you, you can't. I, you know, that's like a difficult word. But that, that's challenging, you know, but I don't have a problem saying that because the Bible says that in Romans 10, that if you confess with your mouth, that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart, you will be saved. It's both of those things. Yeah. It's not a private, well, I I have faith only. Like faith without works is dead. So not sure if that was an encouragement or just plain rebuke, but <laughs> either way, for those that are fasting yeah. and praying with us, I think it'll be an encouragement because that people will be going, yeah, I am actually putting real, real faith into work. I'm having an action with my faith. I can expect a result. That's right. right. We can expect a reward. God's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hebrews 11, 6 says. So awesome. If you don't know where you're going to spend eternity, then you, you can know for one. And if you're not sure, why don't you just say this out loud after me and God can begin to make himself real to you. Say, dear Jesus, I've heard about you. If you really died on the cross for me, I want to say thank you and receive you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. If you've prayed that, let us know in the comments. We will definitely be delighted to talk to you. Um, we'd love to hear from you. You can send us a private message or whatever. 
whatever you like. But we often do that because you never know who watches these broadcasts. We run into people off the street that are like, I know you. <laughs> and I'm almost like, what? Anyway. What do you mean? No, that wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> he was a Hey, Ivan and Julie. Hey. Hey, Sasha. But without me faith, oh, sorry. it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Doesn't that marry in so well with, you know, uh, we'll get carried away. I'll get carried away if I start reading all of Hebrews 11. But that one thing, that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And without faith, it's impossible to please him. So you say, well, I don't want to fall into works by doing actions to try to please God. The Bible says that without faith, it is impossible to please God. And if you, you think you just have faith and don't have any actions, it's not fake. It's fake. It's not real faith. So whilst you're not like a disgruntled son or servant or someone trying to get your master's approval, trying to get dad's attention, you understand that he loves you just because that you're his son, that you're pleasing to him in that you're just his son. But still, there's an action. And with real faith, because you're his son, you work, you do things for him. You go to work for him. You're diligent for him. You don't slap people across the faith face because you have real faith. Most of the time. <laughs> yeah, most of the time. Do you know what I mean? And then it's a, that is pleasing to God. That real yeah. faith is pleasing to God also. So very good. good. Fantastic. <laughs> Is there any way that we can just like end the broadcast and keep talking? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, Lou, please pray That's and take us out. Rude, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Anyway, this is almost so. more fun doing this separately than together. I know. I feel like we should do it like this more often, but we'll have to. <laughs> a few times because we will be in separate locations but um yeah yeah okay i can i'll, I can I'll go to the meeting tonight um there's a meeting at queen's park at the 10th oh, yeah. the um awakening to Woomba, 7 p.m nightly from tonight tuesday wednesday oh, thursday friday okay. up to sunday right it goes up sunday night yes yeah, sunday's at, at humorage church at night time yeah the Sunday oh. night is at Humorage Church, so it's a combined churches meeting oh, sure. Sunday night. So. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. So you can go down there every night, and that'll be good. We'll be taking a bunch of people to Planet Shakers as well, so we'll be in a bit of both, but wild yep. time of the year, which is good. Yes. Um, so let me know Crazy when you're ready busy to time, actually. Yeah. It is. It's funny. Um, yes. Do you want me to pray now? Yeah, please. Let okay. Well, Father, thank you again for this time of prayer and fasting that we've got with you. Um, I thank you, Father, that as people push in and continue to fast and pray, that you download into their spirits things that they have been needing to know, things that they've been searching for, things that have been an issue, whether it's health, whether it's finances, whatever it is. Lord, download the plan to them. The blueprint that they need to go forward from here father thank you that your holy spirit is so good at that and that we just reach up and touch you and you can touch us and that we can have those things drop into our spirit yes. so lord, as we press in to the spiritual aspect lord as we put the flesh aside and and push into the spiritual we thank you for those downloads we thank you for those answers to prayer in jesus name help everybody that's watching to to feel your presence and to to really get a touch from you during these days we thank you that it's not it's not um, our efforts and us crucifying ourselves to make sure that you touch us but lord it's just getting in tune with with your wavelength we thank you that you've ordained the prayer and fasting in the bible and that we're on scriptural ground and that you've given us that as a tool to use in these days so thank you father in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Amen. Tell you what, yesterday we spoke about fasting. What was it? The exact title? Fasting causes you to be, fasting and prayer causes you to be more sharp spiritually. Okay. You know, and well, I feel. I'm really sharp because I remember the title of yesterday's I, podcast. <laughs> no, like spiritually, like, I, man, I, I'll say lift them emoji hand if you feel the presence of god but i do it's awesome <laughs> chris david um chris david that that is very, very familiar yeah anyway really is watching thank you for watching thank you for watching we love you we love you all we may see you tonight at seven o'clock we'll See how you go. If you'd like to give. Giant tent down at the park. It's white. Giant, yeah. You can't miss it. Sorry. Yes. If you'd That's like right. to give. You if can. you'd like to give to Breakthrough Center, then we'll put a link in the comments um, and it can take you through to how you give to Breakthrough Center Church. And if you want to join us Sundays at 10 a.m. in Wilsonton, if you're anywhere in the Lockyer Valley area, that would be awesome too. We'd love to see. Yeah. All right. Until 5.30 tomorrow. That was it. That was the daily dose of God's word and encouragement. <laughs> All right. Have, you're going to have to end it from your end. I've got no idea. <laughs> okay. See you later.